Asian mathrologist this is Coach Saiful with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to dive into the um, assessment paper number two for your primary six foundation math. Okay, so since um, you guys wanted me to shout out to you, hello Ashley, <laughs> hello Liana, um, what we're going to do right now is we're going to go through the paper again and we're going to make sure that you understand fully before we move on to the next slide. Uh, Alright, so let's start doing this right now. So the first question, as we can see, uh, by the way, I want to make sure that you have your assessment paper next to you so that it's easy to, re to refer to, okay? So the first thing is the poster below shows the price of chocolate cookies at a bakery. Uh, chocolate cookies for sale is a first 300 grams. Again, what does it mean? That means for the first 300 grams, uh, it's, it's $2 per 100 grams. That means 100 grams, 200 grams, 300 grams, all will cost you $2 each. Not in total, but each. And then any, any additional cookies that you buy uh, is going to be co costing you $1.50 per 100 grams. So the question says, Nancy bought 200 grams of chocolate cookies. How much did she pay? So first thing you must do is you must check. Is 200 grams still in the first 300 grams? Yes, it still is. So what we must, what we must do is we must make sure that we just take a look at $2 per 100 grams. So for 200 grams, how much will she pay? Okay, it's very simple. So I'm gonna, right now I'm going to make sure that I actually write this down for you. So first 300, that means if I were you, I would write first 300 grams. I would write it as this, $2 per 100 grams. That's what I'm going to write, okay? And if I were you, any additional, I would write down as 150 per 100. Okay, so the first part for part A is simply 200 grams divided by 2, sorry, divided by 100 grams is going to give you 2, 2 sets, okay? 2 times $2 is going to give you $4. And that is um, actually the answer for part A. So how much did she pay? She paid $4. Now the part B says Mrs. Go paid $9. So how many grams of chocolate cookies did she pay? Did she buy, sorry? So for this kind of questions again, it's all all very very simple. Like uh, we already discussed before, for part B, all you have to do is you have to break it down. Break it down. Nine dollars can be broken down into what? Okay, nine dollars can be broken down into the first three hundred grams. Okay, and then <coughs> first three hundred grams and additional. So for the first three hundred grams, it's going to cost you how much? It's going to cost you two dollars times three which gives you $6 and any additional is going to cost you $150 each. So $9 minus $6, that's the minus the first 300 grams, is going to give you $3 left. So if you have $3 left and each 100 grams is $150, you just divide it by $150 and you're going to find yourself that you have two sets. Two sets of, that means 200 grams, two sets of 100 grams. Therefore, the total answer is actually <coughs> excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, the answer is 300 grams plus 200 grams, which gives you 500 grams. So Mrs. Lee, I think, is it Mrs. Lee? Mrs. Go, <laughs> Mrs. Go um, bought 500 grams of chocolate cookies. It is that simple. So remember, always list out for yourself to make it look very, very understandable in your terms and then break it down for these kind of questions, okay? So actually, that's it. You know, one of the things that I really want to touch um, today and uh, for the rest of the week is actually this. You have already practiced as much as you can. Now you need to start believing in you, right? Um, I know for um, for some of you, okay, for for maybe you, um, okay, uh, whatever it is, I think some of some of you, I think, I um, maybe both of you, I don't know, uh, practice a lot, but you don't believe in yourself. You need to start believing in yourself, right? Because um, when you believe in yourself, you're going to get confident. And when you get confident, then guess what? You're going to get your A's and your A stars. All right, so I'm, gonna, I'm here to support you. I believe in you. And I want to say that you, my friend, are a math prodigy. <laughs> Good job.